Okay, I'm going to cover a problem that one of my master students wrote me an email. I saw the email today. And this problem came from this book here, the CFA Institute Fixed Income Analysis. Really good book if you're studying for the CFA uh, level one. So anyway, it basically, th this problem here, it basically lists some par rates uh, for different maturity bonds. Um, and um, and we want to calculate what the spot rate is um, for for a five-year maturity bond. Okay. Um, and so so what I did is I basically took this is problem 27, 7-27 in the book. And what I did is I just took this top part right here and put it in here. They call it a spot rate, but they call it, in the book they call it Z for the spot rate. So each one this is Z sub one, Z sub two, Z sub three. Z sub 4, and we want to find Z sub 5. We don't have it here. Okay? All right, so um, what we can do is if you look on the book, on page, uh, on page 192, whoop, wrong, wrong problem. Wrong, wrong one. And this, this part in the book, if you look on page, uh, 334 in the book, it talks about bootstrapping to do it. Okay. And um, so what I'm going to do, I will just, let me go back to the problem again. I will, I'm going to copy and paste that part of the book in here so we can look at it. Oop. Okay. So what they're talking about here. They have par rates, and we have par rates, so it's not the same numbers, but they have par rates here. And then they have uh, the first spot rate is 5%. And they solve for Z sub 2 by doing this equation. So they use the two-year par rate divided by um, divided by divided by the 5% spot rate. Not the not the 5% par rate, but the 5% spot rate. So this is called bootstrapping, and the problem is this is hard to solve if you're studying this because it doesn't really give you an equation. It just shows you the method. So let me just show you how. Let's, just, let's go ahead and say we don't know this, that this is 3. We could solve for that, right? So I'll just do, first we'll do an easy one, and then I'll show you how to do the long way. So what you could do, um, we could take these and... Uh, so I'm going I'm to do this. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just copy down this stuff right here. And we don't know this, so I'm going to leave that blank. And I want the par rate for year two. That's what they're doing here, the par rate for for year two, right? Which is hey, here is 5.97 in this problem. In ours, it's, it's 2.99. So I'm going to go equals... 2.99 divided by parentheses 1 plus and we want the z at the time I'm at. So it's going to be plus th this spot rate. And then it's going to be, of course, to the t power, which would be to the 1 power. So so you get this, uh, this number here. And then we also... Uh, have one plus the par rate, so it's going to be equal one plus the par rate at year two, which is going to be this. Whoop, forgot the equal sign. So I'm just following along the way they did it. In this. So now I have this numerator, and I have this term right here. So now I would just solve for this, right? So, um, so now I could, so I want z sub two. We're going to, I'm going to do z sub two first. And then we'll do Zeus of 5. We'll extrapolate from that. So, so if you're looking at this equation here, this is this term right here. This is the numerator over here. Okay. And, uh, and then, uh, we have to solve for z sub 2 inside of here, right? So what we could do, we could go... So first I could take this term, which is this, and subtract 1. one I'm taking 1, which is on the left-hand side. 
I'm going to subtract this term to move it over here. So I'm going to go minus whatever this is, which that's what that is. And then I'm going to put that in parentheses. And then, uh, so now I have this over here. So now uh, I'm going to multiply both sides times this to get this in the numerator. And I'm going to divide both sides by this to get this in the denominator. So I have to take this and divide it by that. So now I have I have this divided by divided by well you know I'm not explaining this very well I'll just show you the algebra I'm, I'm doing the algebra in my head it's kind of hard to explain and then what I have to do is this is to the second power so I have to get rid of that so I have to take it to the uh, one half power or one divided by two power and we want to make sure this is in parentheses like this. And then finally, I have to get rid of this 1 here to get z sub 2 by itself. By itself, so I go minus 1. And I get 0.299. We make that percent. And that was what that answer is. So actually, I could calculate this one and this one in the same way. But we're going to skip all that. We'll, go, we'll just jump right to z sub 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Uh, I'll go ahead and I'm going to copy what I have over to save time. So if I want to calculate z sub 5, so now I'm going to go ahead and just take all these and put them down here. Okay, and then I'm going to leave this one blank. And this is going to be equal to the par rate at 5. So so now, now we get, it's kind of similar to this last one, but we're going to do, for, we're going to use, there's one more term in there, right? So the par rate at 5 is going to be in the numerator. Now I'm going to have four of that because I'm going to have that on every one of these. See how that's on the top on every one of these? And then I'm going to divide it by 1 plus z, 1 plus a spot rate at that time, which is this. And then I'm going to take it to the 1 power. Okay. So you can see how so that would be 4.0437 uh, 4 divided by 2.5. All right, and then the next one. Well, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and we'll copy this down. Let me put these formulas in here so you can see them. And then we have to sum those. So I'm just going to go auto sum here. And uh, let me just underline this because we just need... So now I just took all these, all these. there's another term in here because this is the word solving for z sub 5. So I summed them all together. So I just grouped all those together. And then this is going to, we'll just go ahead and put this down here. It's going to be equal to 1 plus the par rate at 5. So that's what we would have over here. So now if I copy this formula, let me just do it again. So it's going to be equal to this divided by parentheses 1 minus this to the parentheses 1 divided by the fifth power minus 1. Oh, hold on. What did I do wrong here? Let me just make sure. Uh... There we go. Should have put that in parentheses. And if I make that into percent, take it out a couple places, 4.45. And that's the answer to the book got, I think. Let's just check. Okay, so that's the solution to the book. Now, um, they have 4.453, and that's what we have too. So this basically shows you the algebra that I just did. So let me put this formula here. So that's the answer. Um, now there's another way to do this if you don't like the, doing it with algebra. So I could, uh, let me copy this down. I'm going to guess Z, sub, I don't know Z sub 5, so I'm going to guess it's 5%. So it doesn't really matter what I guess. And I'm going to do the left-hand side of the equation. And uh, we know here that the left-hand side of the equation is 1. And then we do the right-hand side of the equation. 
and that's going to be equal to the sum of all these, okay, which is all these terms, plus this divided by parentheses 1 plus whatever I guessed right here, and that's going to be to the fifth power, right? So basically I'm doing this equation. I'm not going to do this algebra. I'm just going to do this equation. And so if I use this for our guess, if this is equality, the left-hand side has to equal, this should equal 1. So if I guess 5%, that's not right because that's not, that needs to be 1. So what's cool is I can make Excel do this. So I'm going to go to Data. And I'm going to go What If Analysis and go to Goal Seek. And I'm going to set this cell to a value of one because I want the, this this to I want this to equal one. So I'm going to set this equal to one by changing this cell right here. Okay, I'm going to copy that so I can paste it in here in a second when we're all done. And then if I go OK, if you watch mm -hmm. that that changes, and I can take this out a couple places, and I got the answer. Now if you do this, you're going to you should say. Uh, Something like uh, used goal seek. All right. I'm going to copy that goal seek in here just so you have a copy of it. Okay. All right. So that's how you solve that problem. I know it's kind of hard because they don't really give you an equation. They just give you uh, how they do it. This is called bootstrapping, by the way. Okay. So hopefully that helps. If you like that, my picture will come up. By the way, I could calculate, I just calculated this one, right? Or I just calculated this spot rate. Right? I could calculate this spot rate right and that spot rate right the same way, but we calculated it as for the spot rate right for a five year maturity. Okay. So that's why we did that here. All right. So my picture will come up if you like this video. If you haven't subscribed, click on my picture and uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, if, you, if you like it, give me a thumbs up, make any comments. That's all for today. Thank you.